everyone on youtube shadows here welcome back to my channel so in honor of tomorrow's full moon and this was also a video slash a blog that i had planned on posting way sooner than it is coming out now i wanted to talk about working with the moon and sun in magic and spellcraft and spell casting i go into great detail on how i use both uh in my personal practice you may hear some noise in the background, so please ignore that. Um, I personally like to use both in my practice. I have been doing a lot more with the sun lately, though, mainly because of my schedule being so flexible. Sometimes I work in, I'm working random hours, and sometimes I'm just doing other life stuff. So a lot of the time, I like to work with them in conjunction with the phases, and I want to talk about it in the context of this part of the year during the darker half. So I typically do a lot of banishing work, and I know banishing spells are a big topic. So, you know, banishing can include the removal of thoughts, addictions, habits, people, and so on. So I do those spells, and the way that I do them is I will cast the spell during a waning moon, and in conjunction with that, I will do it at sunset because it's the last part of the day and it's a very in-between period. Um, I've done it with candle magic, I've done it with crystal magic, I've done it with other forms of magic. I don't use herbs too much in my practice, but when I do, I'll use herbs that uh, coincide with some kind of banishing. Um, and typically though, if I'm using crystals or I'm using um, candles, I'll use a um, black candle to banish, and I will use crystals like um, hematite or smoky quartz more than anything smoky quartz i would say for the removal of any negative energy i will use um i was gonna say malachite but it's not malachite I, well i use malachite for protection because i feel like once i'm doing all the banishing work i feel like i do a lot of protection work after that um but it's also helpful in just keeping my area protected as i do the work because banishing is a lot of work and it takes a lot of energy and i feel like it does help to uh, have a protective space when you're doing that because you are releasing and raising really raising and releasing a lot of energy rather so i will use um those types of crystal smoky quartz clear quartz um selenite for cleansing um i will use um black tourmaline is the other one i was going to mention for the banishing work um i use black candles for banishing similar to that i'll also incorporate uh, the use of either an, a symbolic object in most of my spells so like something that represents the thing i'm trying to banish it could be a picture it could be a piece of paper with the thing i'm trying to banish on it it could be an object that represents it or the actual object that i'm getting rid of or a person or what have you those are different ways you could do banishing work um, I'm going to go into banishing in a separate blog post and video. Um, so I will do that with the waning moon. I'll do that with the dark moon. In addition to sunset, um, I will also incorporate cleansing spells into this as well. Some kind of um, cleansing spell, whether that's doing it at sunrise or during a new moon to uh, start the new cycle. Um, I'll even incorporate it into a purification so completely just purifying the space and having a completely new space because cleansing i feel like is very um just kind of like service level i feel like cleansing you definitely gets rid of things but i feel like it's more of a temporary getting rid of things i feel that cleansing does help but i feel that purification is more getting deeply into it and just completely getting rid of it a fresh start and a clean slate so I'll do purification spells and I'll do it similarly to how I do my cleansing spells. I might start the spell at sunrise um, and then work it at night as well to keep that balance aspect of it. I also will do um, spells for different types of protection as well. I didn't mention that in the blog post, but I will do that. Um, but typically when I work with the sun and the moon together, I try to match it to the cycle that we're in. So right now we're in a um waxing period the full moon's tomorrow so i might do um like at noon or midday when i do uh certain spells like if i'm doing spells for success for example i do mention those um but i don't do too much of that in this part of the year unless i need something really quick um or i might bring it up it just depends on the life situation and circumstances so definitely consider your circumstances 
where you're at in life, where you're at in the season. But um, definitely, so doing things in general, uh, you could do it with the full moon and you could do it with, it with midday and at noon uh, to work with the sun and moon in conjunction with each other, depending on the spell. So I've done um, six six spells at those times of the day. I've done it at sunrise and at a new moon cycle. I've done it during a waxing cycle. Um, and I typically match it to those particular days and seasons. So those are just a couple ways I like to do it. Like I said, uh, definitely consider where you are and what you want to do. If you have no sun, right? If there's just not a lot of sun where you're at, um, maybe incorporate it in a different way. Um, I, I would say if there is a sunny day out, you can charge crystals with that energy. So for example, you can use citrine, which not because of the fact of its color, that it, it is also linked to air and intellectual pursuits, but the citrine crystal always makes me think of a very like happy, uh, vibrant energy. So I would say citrine, you could charge citrine, you could charge clear quartz, you can charge um, also like any other yellow crystals, like yellow calcite. I've never worked with yellow calcite, so um, I say do your research on that one. But definitely like any type of yellow crystals, but citrine comes to mind. Um, I own quite a bit of it as well, so that's partially where that comes from. Um, you can even charge um, other crystals like carnelian. Um, carnelian is really good. It has that fire energy as well. You put them out in the sun. Um, citrine, you have to be a little careful with the sun though, because it can't be in sun for too long. So maybe three to five minutes at a time, take it out, bring it back in. And you can also put these in the moon energy as well to balance them. So let's say you're working on a banishing spell and you can use all of these crystals that I mentioned for banishing. So selenite for cleansing, you can cleanse your space with it. You can use um, smoky quartz for um, removal of energy and releasing. You can use um, carnelian and citrine for um, really just getting in there and getting rid of all the things that you need or you can do it on the opposite side of bringing things in when you're doing the cleansing aspect so let's say you're doing the banishing first you can take the smoky quartz uh, you can take the um, piece of um, I keep forgetting what I'm saying <laughs> um, I, you can take the smoky quartz piece or whatever crystal you're going to use for the banishing aspect of it then you would put those in the sun and then later at night you can put them in the moon so let's say the moon is waning you would put them in there um you could do this you know say one or two days in the cycle depending on what you're trying to get rid of how big it is let's say it's like a bad habit so maybe you would do it during the waning slash dark moon phase because if you're really trying to get rid of something i say those are the good times to do it so definitely do that with the banishing aspects you have both of the solar and lunar energies and you can use them together like you can still work with them even if you're still giving them that charged energy i feel like it does help because you're just giving them more you're charging it with more energy but you're also still using them in the spell work if that makes sense so you can use um orange candles for removing of obstacles you can use a black candle for banishing and then similarly you can use a white candle for cleansing and purification you can use um, citrine for the cleansing aspect. You can use um, smoky quartz for the... Um, you can also use smoky quartz for protection as well if you want to. Um, you could do like one smoky quartz for protection and one smoky quartz for banishing work. Or you can use a black tourmaline for... Um, cleansing or removal of energy and another crystal that i just came to mind was obsidian uh, you can also use obsidian for protection and cleansing or mostly just protection really I've, i use it for that but i've also used it since it does remove energy um i've also used it in my cleansing work as well so you can use those you can use clear quartz and program it or charge it for cleansing i have a video coming up soon on charging crystals and what that looks like so these are just some ways you could do it you could Start the spell at um, midday or noon and work it again at night. So it all depends on you. So hope this video has been helpful and any questions, leave a comment down below. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Many blessings.